This is my layout, Briceborough and Dottisford. It runs on DCC using an NCE controller and the controller controls everything that's based on the track. Everything else is controlled by CBUS. So CBUS controls the points, it controls the lights, it controls everything that doesn't run on the rails. My aim is to have the ability to control and monitor train movements using my computer, which is a standard Windows PC. So what I'm hoping to do is this. Here you can see a deltic um, approaching uh, a coaling stage and beyond that is the small village of Dossisford and uh, this is going to pull into Dossisford station. Now you can see on the sketch at the bottom here what's going on. He's actually coming from one point from the, uh, the bottom left through another point and then across to the outer track. Now you'll notice that he speeds up here on the sketch but in fact he doesn't speed up in reality. The reason for that is the sketch isn't to scale um, of the actual layout and then travelling another point we then pull into the little village station. Next, I want the Deltic to go from the station into an engine shed, which is on the far right of this sketch. So, first of all, we'll change that point. That point has now changed its state, and the train is going to set off. And again, the section of track is shown as red with the locomotive on it. Now it's going to hit that point and the point is part of the same block with that, what we know now to be a very short length of track on it. So as she leaves the station, that section of track goes dark again, and now she's moving on, and because the point's been changed, she'll now go towards the engine shed. So to do all this, we'll use JMRI, but JMRI Panel Pro. Now if I Google JMRI Panel Pro download, it comes up with these. And if I click on installing JMRI, it comes up with Decoder Pro logo. But in fact, if you install JMRI, you're actually installing Decoder Pro and Panel Pro and a couple of other things. So from here, you then go down to download and the latest release at the moment is 5.10. Um, so that's the one I'll install. And uh, here we go. It's for, a, not for a Mac, it's for Windows. So it's that link. Click on the link and it downloads the installer. Now it may come up with this warning, um, but in fact, in my case, I'm quite happy to run it anyway. And off we go. Now when you open up Panel Pro, you'll see a screen like this. Um, and just to give you a little bit of detail, it obviously tells you which version of the software you've got, um, what the profile is. There are two connections on this layout. One is the Merg CBUS connection, which you can see is on because it's in black. And the other one, the NCE error, is showing an error simply because I've not got the, uh, the DCC switched on. I don't need it for this stage, so we might as well leave it off. So the first thing we need to do is to design a layout. So we'll start by going to Panels, New Panel, into the Layout Editor. Now this enables you to draw your layout. And all the details of what you need are up at the top here, but it's, to be honest, not that easy to follow. So let me just take you through putting a couple of things up here. First of all, let's start with a point. Well, I've got right hand points up here, left hand points. 
wise, double crossovers, anything you could need. Let's just put a right hand point up. All you do is you click on there, hold the shift key and click with your left mouse button. Now that's the right hand point because obviously she's going off to the right. If I do left hand point, she's going off to the left. What I can do with each point is then modify it. So if I right click on that, I can then rotate it. So let's, yeah, let's do 180 degrees. Type in 180, click OK. There we go. So now I've got, whoops. So now I've got two points. One here and I'll just line it on there and one here. Just by right clicking, I'm moving that about. To connect these two points together with the length of track, I go up to here and click Track Segment. Then with the shift held down, click on there and it then highlights all the various points I could connect to. I've still got the left button of the mouse held down and simply drag it across to there let go when it goes green and it's connected so I've now got a piece of track and two points. Let's put another piece of track up here and let's put it on a uh, let's give it a buffer stop. So click on buffer stop shift and there's the buffer stop. It's a little bit close so we'll move it over a bit to there and we'll put some track a track segment to that. So now we've got some sort of a layout. Not much, I admit. Let's put another piece of track down here. Now we don't want a buffer stop at this end, so what I'll do is use an anchor point. Again, the shift button down, a track segment. From there to there, and we'll do the same with this lead in as well here. So, another anchor point, put that there, and a track segment to here again, shift key down, and couple them up. And again, we just need to get that lined up nicely there. This one can go down here somewhere. Sorted. We've almost got the track that I want to make. So if I put another anchor point down here and link that with the track segment To there, I can actually move that around a bit look, so it looks better. Um, so now I've got a section here for the engine shed, the main line coming in this way, going through there. That point either selects between the continuation of the track around the circuit or this one which goes into the little village station. So that's our track very basic layout but nonetheless that's how you, how you can build it up. Now there's all sorts of things you can vary in this but that'll do for just now. Next thing to do is to store that as something and we'll call it um, test1 and store that. So when we come to Open Panel Pro again, we can find this layout. It should be all there ready waiting for us. In part two, we'll look at linking the images on here to the actual layout so we can operate the turnouts or points.